Tom, some of the biggest names in HPC and hyperconvergence are brand banding together to standardize Ethernet. I know you thought Ethernet was already standardized, but this is a new Ethernet, Ultra Ethernet, which is a consortium that includes AMD, Broadcom, Cisco, HPE, Intel, and others. Uh, chairman and friend of the show, and you and me, Jay Metz, says that the goal of a consortium is to tune Ethernet for workloads with specific performance requirements. I think the delegates at NFD uh, last week were actually pretty impressed by this thing. Uh, the companies uh, involved are selling very high-speed Ethernet focused on HPC and AI workloads. Um, but notably absent from this list is an HPC and AI 100-pound uh, gorilla, NVIDIA. Why do we need another consortium for Ethernet? What's going on here, Tom? So I can explain this with two words, packet spraying. Yes, that is actually a term. Um, as you mentioned last week at Networking Field Day 32, uh, Broadcom presented on some of their latest advances in their chipsets for AI and uh, ML workloads, specifically the Jericho 3 AI chipset. And one of the things that they talked about was the need for Ethernet to kind of adopt some different um, characteristics in order to compete with InfiniBand. You know, that thing that Mellanox made that NVIDIA bought that runs a lot of AI workloads right now. What they're hoping with this Ultra Ethernet Consortium is that they can more or less standardize the way that these add-ons to Ethernet work. When you look at what Cisco's doing and what Broadcom is doing, they're doing roughly the same thing, but they're approaching it from a slightly different perspective. And the Ultra Ethernet Consortium is designed to make sure that everybody is playing on the same field because one of the big values that Broadcom, Cisco, Intel, Arista, whomever is touting about Ethernet versus InfiniBand is that, oh, well, it's Ethernet. You know how Ethernet works. You know how it runs over the cables. But is it really Ethernet? I call back to one of my favorite quotes that, Stephen, that you've mentioned from Bob Metcalf. I don't know what the future of the network is going to look like, but we're going to call it Ethernet. 800 gig Ethernet doesn't look anything like 10 meg Ethernet, but we're going to call it that. In order for that to happen, it has to be standardized. And so this is what the Ultra Ethernet Consortium is designed to do. And yes, if you read between the lines of what our friend Jay Metz said, you know, workloads with specific performance requirements, that literally can be spelled by saying AI. That is what they're trying to do. They're trying to unseat InfiniBand as the dominant form of internet or network connectivity for these workloads. NVIDIA is not falling behind either. Um, they are reportedly developing some Ethernet standardization for their Bluefield 4 DPUs. But again, if you need a DPU to do it, is it really Ethernet? So I'm going to be very interested to see kind of where the Ultra Ethernet Consortium takes off from here. I know that with the backing that they've got, we're going to see a lot of companies that are, you know, kind of buying in. The question is, will it be enough to unseat, unseat InfiniBand?